Hello guys, welcome to Majestic Notion. So, I'm just throwing some cards around here because I'm feeling drawn to do a random reading. So, we're going to see what this is about. Okay. And I can tell you that all in my head I've been thinking about the crossroads. Yeah, endings bring new beginnings here. Okay. And then there's sudden wealth there. There's something about an end of a journey, and I just said crossroads, um, a lesson being learned, something about mastering thyself as well, but many things in the three-dimensional space that have taken place. I'm hearing zigzagging, jumping, um, this could be a metaphor for burdens, um, blockages. Let, let's see. I don't want to get too deep before we know what's going on here. So, um, yeah, some sort of false person um, could be taken out or it's the end of that connection with some sort of false person. It's time for a transformation. Someone here is definitely going to reincarnate to learn a major lesson. Okay. Major karmic lesson for them. So many shifts happening right now is incredible. And for those of you on the right side of the scale are going to be very surprised, very blessed here. And those who like false, mm, it's going to be weighing a lot. Of, things are going to start weighing very, very heavy. They already have, but it's, it's not going to get any better for a long, long time. Probably never. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we have a thief here. And we did have imprisonment. So somebody could be going to jail. Somebody could be taken out. Yeah, I feel this has to do with the crossroads and the path you take in this life. And in all lifetimes that you keep coming back to learn, to learn, to learn. Hey, you know, God sits there and he says, we could do this all lifetimes if you want you have till eternity so if you take eternity to never get it right guess what you're gonna come back and repeat the same thing and the same thing and the same thing and you're gonna have bad karma and bad karma and bad karma because you want to take shortcuts right because you wanna and I'm not saying you guys per se but whoever these people were in your lives that you ran across somewhere along your journey okay more than one maybe more than a handful family friend foe relationships and these people coming up against you are only coming up against themselves. They are their own demise. These are the non-believers, the unworthy, no self-love, no self-worth, the takers, right? The greedy, the greed people, the people that love power, you know, they're obsessive, they're possessive, they're controlling. They're, they're their own demise. They want to bend everything to their will without any type of inner work, any type of gratitude, any type of, you know, self-improvement. And then they think that karma doesn't exist, that, that they're somehow, what's the word? Um, man, what is the word? Invincible. Yeah, they think these people think they're invincible. Like there's nothing there like there's no nothing bigger than they are. Imagine the higher power, right? Whatever God is to you, the universe, its source, right? The higher power, something bigger than us, right? The universe exists outside of the planet. It's bigger than us. Okay? In the universe, we probably look like a microorganism. So imagine source looking down and magnetizing that even more we look like smaller than an ant to source as ants look to us in completely like <laughs> minuscule com compared to everything else in the world and imagine source looking at this little tiny thing trying to steal and plot and and be on an ego trip when nothing you're doing in that bubble space and time, in that limited little space that you think only exists, it, well, you're, you're only tripping yourself up. Okay? One day you're going to have to face source. One day 
you're going to have to look at every single thing. This, these people, you're going to have to look at every single thing they did. Especially when they're going through judgment. And some of them are going to go through judgment once they cross over. Okay? And that all that they did from their, from those people's perspective is going to be playing in their head. And they're going to see just how messed up they were. All of this is going to start replaying. And they're going to have to come back because they can't escape it. But when your mind's wiped clean and you reincarnate, they're, you know, they get a chance to see what their heart's all about. You come across that crossroads, right? And you could either take the path of faith or you take, you take the road where you feel everybody else is taking. Oh, I don't want to take that path. Nobody else is taking it. That's not a popular path. Everybody else is going this way. Well, guess what? Then you're not a leader. You're a follower. Sometimes people don't understand what being a leader is. When you can take the reins of your life and follow the go off the beaten path and seek life for yourself and understand it for yourself without everybody else telling you what it should be and what they you know oh we're all going over here I don't know what's over there I don't know why you're going that way oh well I'm I'm gonna go this way because it's the popular thing to do I'm gonna listen to this person because they have a million followers and this person has two. I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't want to be called weird and singled out. Meanwhile, that's where the lessons are. All of that, that, that side of the path. Though. All the lessons. But guess what? It's because you're not ready, mind, body, soul, spirit, and heart, to take a path of faith. Especially when people are in this energy of being a thief, a liar, a deceiver, attached to the devil. Huh? Running amok in the devil's playground. The path of faith is not for the faint of heart. It's for those who don't fear going off the beaten path. It's for those who want the answers for themselves. They're not listening to Tom, Dick, and Harry, Tammy, Dixie, and Harriet over there, the Karens. Okay? Not everybody's ready. So you're going to keep going to that, you know, taking that other path that everybody else is taking it. And all those people are got their lessons to learn. They got that karma to clear. Okay? And you're going to stumble and you're going to fall and you're going to stumble and you're going to fall and you're going to stumble and you're going to fall till you get it. And you're going to say, you know what? Maybe I should try going right this time and taking that leap of faith. Walking by faith, not just by sight. Believing in that there's something bigger than me. There's a stronger force than me. It's not all about the ego. Following the ego, man, that's another thing. The ego wants to go where it's comfortable, where it, ha it has been conditioned to go. You know, people don't realize just how damaging conditioning can be and um, limiting your mind. You're limiting yourself to so many other answers, so many other experiences. But you can't take that path unless you're ready. Mind, body, soul, spirit. Unless you really want something different for yourself. Unless you're really re ready to get real with yourself and look at yourself in the mirror. And these people? <laughs> fat chance that they're going to take that path. So let's see what's going on. I don't know, that's the energy today. We got a courthouse here. Probably because... And somebody's concerned. Maybe somebody here is concerned that somebody's going to be stealing from them. Or they tried stealing from them. Now they got to see this person in court and see how this is going to pan out. 23 adding up to 5, that's a challenge. But because somebody was unbalanced, this is exactly what they attracted. Right? That's a lesson. So what I'm feeling here is a lesson. 33 is a master number. Someone needing to master thyself, which they will this lifetime. Yeah, high honor wanted to come out, being held in high honor for taking the reins of their life and moving forward. The divine, 25 adding up to 7. Going through the challenge, accepting that there's a challenge, 
and change happening here and understanding that change is needed for balance and duality. What else here, Spirit? We got a privileged lady. This could be the thief. Somebody's concerned that somebody here is privileged and they feel like they're entitled. This this could definitely be the thief. They're entitled to what they have. So they're going to fight tooth and nail for it in court. This could be through a divorce, financial ties, child custody, and whatever comes with that. This could be about home. Some sort of mutual family business. Somebody feels entitled. Can't make it up. False person. Number eight. Somebody here could have a life path number eight. Also getting the eighth house. So there it is. There's that was part of the journey, and that's the lesson. Somebody took the left at the crossroads. They had to learn the lesson. They weren't ready, mind, body, soul, spirit, and heart, to walk the path of faith. Everybody else was coming to the left. I don't know about that path over there. I don't know. Well. That'll teach you. Every time it'll teach you. It's meant to. It's not a bad thing. It's just something you won't do again. You'll think twice before you follow everybody else, right? Journey. This journey with this person is over. And there's something being determined in court. And there's a concern again. Because they know this person's out to get everything they have. Yeah. Toil and labor. Coffin. Message of concern. They're worried that everything they worked hard for is just going down the drains. It's a mature man here with occupation and despair. Wow. With child and marriage. <sighs> yeah, this man has a lot of concern. This this and and they're concerned about some child here as well. The well-being of a child because we do have a false person this person is all about themselves so this man is concerned about the ending of this situation it's weighing heavy because there's a child in the mix here and there's some sort of despair and there's something to do with a business here that somebody build they work so hard to build and now I feel it's going down the tubes because they built it with the wrong one you try to build an empire with a false thief. Guess what? That shit ain't going nowhere. It ain't. Yeah. I also see the lovers as a crossroad sometimes. Where that fool, you know, they go the dark path. And that's the path of the lesson. There's a, there's a huge lesson for somebody here. There's some sort of family here expecting some sort of sudden wealth here, great fortune. Or they're going to have to uh, give up some money to somebody here that's privileged. Somewhere along the path. For some of you, this is somebody you're meeting that's been on a journey here. For some time here. I'm going to get my white cards. We're going to get into this. Let's see what's going on here. Royalty, lineage payout in court. Okay. 
So what's going on here? This privileged lady is making fake accounts in your name to make you look some type of way. This, this is sneaky bitch. Okay, some of you could be a guy, but I'm getting this a female that got in where she can fit in and then tried to look make you look some type of way. This is a um, personality um, identity theft type shit. This bitch, shady. Karmic female friend. So there could be two shady people here as well that are surrounding this mature man. Yeah, fraud. Wow. <laughs> this person got played by two people? What's going on here? Oh, man. Do not fold under pressure. So there's a little pressure going on in court. Don't fall under pressure for whoever this is. Because these two bitches trying to get some... They're trying to get that money. I'm wondering what the fuck does this person got to do with it? This could be a friend of the, the wife here. Or soon to be ex or ex-wife. Awakening to the bullshit. So somebody's awakening to the fact that they try to make you look bad. Okay. I don't know how they found out, but they found out. Use your discernment. So they're using their intu intuition when it comes to some sort of karmic female friend. She's shady too. She or he. Well, it actually it says female friend, so it says female. Unforgettable. With fraud and journey. Yeah, I'm sure that person is unforgettable because... You took them for what they had. This person. Proving their love with action. Okay, so somebody here is, is, you're definitely connecting to somebody that's going through some major shit here. Okay, they're trying not to fold under pressure here. Um, we have royalty and lineage payout. So this person could be very wealthy. Um, somebody here could have played a chosen one here as well for some of you. And if that's the case, boom, they're gonna they're gonna get some shit for that. Loyal. This person's awakening to the bullshit that this person was fake. That you're actually loyal. They try to make you look like maybe a hoe or something like that. I don't know with creating fake accounts in your name to make you look some type of way. Somebody here played really dirty. And they always had a plan going in. That's the sad part. Like, can you imagine marrying somebody you think you're going to spend the rest of your life with? And that bitch had a plan the whole time? Whether it's a male or a female? Like, they're over here smiling in your face, buttering you up. You didn't even know it was for clout, for fame, for fortune, whatever it was for, clearly to get, to gain some type of something, feeling privileged, like, this is somebody that feels like the world owes them something, and they can take whatever they want. This is somebody that has a love of power, definitely on an ego trip, and they spend this person's money without blinking a fucking eye. Can you imagine you think that's the love of your life? That's the person you've been sleeping with, hanging with, talking sweet nothings to, and all they're doing is faking that shit? That is so wrong on so many levels. Lucky day winner. So there might be some other person trying to butter this person up, but they're using their discernment. This person could be surrounded by these types of pig these types of women. So it all depends, what, you know, where they're at, like, what do they do for a living, you know, what kind of status they have, because clearly, royalty lineage payout, somebody here could be wealthy here. Hold on one second. Spirit's not playing today. So let's see where we're going. 
it's a good day it's a good day to start something new that's right go on a new journey maybe they find you to be unforgettable they couldn't forget about you whether they just met you once twice or saw you online or or you you know this person for a while whatever this is you know they're ready to start a new day something new leaving this whole journey behind they were with a fraud somebody here definitely could have created some type of fraud like, I don't understand these people like how you just gonna sit there being all privileged spending somebody else's money like you don't fucking care and then think you deserve it like like no remorse no like empathy here false police statements so this bitch got false police reports and statements and taking them to court guys you, you, this bitch ain't playing uh uh and it's probably because they know this person wants to prove their love and take action towards you collective acting suspicious with awakening to the bullshit they thought this person was loyal they were not but they were trying it was almost like they were trying to take the attention off themselves and making you look some type of way so this person was projecting onto you everything that they were doing behind the scenes that's what I'm seeing here they wanted to deflect any um, negative um, thoughts towards them when it came to this masculine there's physical abuse in this situation with a karmic female friend I'm even getting that maybe they, this bitch got into a fight with a friend of the masculines here maybe this friend liked him and she thought it was her lucky day and some sort of physical fight broke out here look at this you see because this person wants to move forward we got fraud and then we got hitman is actually an undercover cop somebody stop playing it's a good day to start something new like this bitch married this person she's probably trying to get some sort of life insurance on this person and now she wants to take him out so she can take his money or it's because you know if he dies she gets it all kind of thing somebody clearly didn't get a prenup here this is just sick family may be standing in the way of this connection y you think uh, of course we're going to court here there's money lots of money involved they need to not fold under pressure they're just telling me this person's extremely manipulative and this masculine wants to take action somewhere else and this bitch bringing false police statements she knows some type of cop here but this is an undercover cop so this bitch is being watched released yeah they, definitely they were released somebody awakened to the bullshit insecurities kicking in with there's physical abuse in this situation what the hell is going on there with this karmic female friend somebody oh okay somebody got triggered and their insecurities came out I feel like there was a a fight with a karmic female friend of the masculines someone you know is a hitman it it's an undercover cop so this could be somebody the masculine knows or someone you know collective I don't know there's something shady real shady going on here let's see what else 
fat chance highly unlikely with this whole police report thing okay and family standing in the way of this connection they're like uh, fat, fat chance highly unlikely with proving their love with action hmm this bitch could be trying to still butter this person up also and family's like I don't think so there's a lot going on here with family and court and this bitch a lot of manipulation here someone the divine feminine knows was released here or released this karmic obsession yeah definitely so somebody might need a restraining order here too this bitch very insecure obsessed and they got in a fight with some sort of um karmic female friend here it could have been her own friend i don't know or it could have been somebody that you know they thought it was their lucky day i don't know when when they were with the masculine here or likes the masculine yeah, projecting negative qualities onto someone, someone you know, is projecting negative qualities onto someone. Clearly somebody's lying here. Okay, let's let's try to clear some of this up. Let's just clear the bottom here. Karmic's getting people to conspire against the masculine and feminine. Be careful who you lay with. Like, I mean, you gotta go through all this shit only to get, end up getting the short end, of the short end of the stick at the end of the day. Yeah, you might have gotten a few clothing out of it, some, some shoes, some jewelry, some money. Or for what? It's going to end up in a, blowing up in your face. A freaking mess here. So there you go. For some of you, you're very psychic. Your psychic abilities are real and worth exploring. Go deeper. With proving their love with action here. So that's the masculine, I think, wanting to go towards you or something. Is what I'm seeing. There could have been some false police reports here. When it... Okay, for some of you, this karmic made you look some type of way and created some type of false police reports. I feel like they know some type of cop here. And family is like standing in the way of this person coming towards you. So, take it how it resonates. See what's going on with loyal? Yeah, getting their karma. Because they weren't loyal. They were portraying to be loyal and they were not. They were acting suspicious. That's why they were released. Now, for some of you, you have somebody entirely different that was making you look some type of way. Creating fake accounts. And you could have released that person. Someone the Divine Feminine knows. Okay. Someone aside from your masculine here. Let's see. Let's, lucky Day. Questioning every the, everything with Lucky Day winner. Why would, everybody, why would they be questioning that? Questioning everything. Lucky day winner. We'll get back to that. It's a good day to start something new. Yeah. Abundant journey. With journey here. So it's time for an abundant path. We're, we're definitely done with that. Okay. But there's still some, some lingering energy in court and, and things here. And this bitch is still plotting and scheming and behind the, behind the scenes. 
What is this? False belief statements? Yeah. Sleeping with your friend. Look at this. Damn, this bitch shady as hell. Just the, buttering somebody for their benefit, for their manipulative agendas. So they're sleeping with a cop friend of the masculines to get some sort of false police reports? It, I mean, what? <laughs> Acting suspicious? I have no more fucks to give. Acting suspicious. Somebody's just out of there. They, they released this person. There's physical abuse with stingy lover and selfish. There's something going on with a karmic female friend here. They got in a fight. Damn, with stingy lover and physical abuse in this situation? That sounds kind of weird. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's like, were they trying to have sex with this female friend and then ended up fighting? Like, this, this sounds weird. Unless there was a threesome involved here. That's so weird. Hitman is actually a, a you know, take it out resonates. Hitman is actually an undercover cop with new love is coming in with the right intentions? What? This shit just keeps getting weirder and weirder. So somebody hired a hitman. They're actually an undercover cop. This person wants to come into your life with the right intentions. So maybe there's a hitman. Man, somebody's getting in so much trouble right now. They don't, like, do they not see this coming? I feel like there's somebody that actually fell for you here. That this karmic thought was going to take either you out or this masculine out. But this cop is, they're an undercover cop. And it says new love with abundant journey and it's a good day to start something new. what <laughs> family may be standing in the way of this connection i know where you live damn you could have family members judging where you live and shit i feel because there's royalty here lineage payout so your masculine could be like I don't know, maybe well-known or just wealthy. There's a specific status that they have. And I feel like somebody's judging you. Their family is judging you by where you live. That's what it feels like to me. It's released? Yeah, questioning, questionable sexual encounters with released. So somebody definitely wasn't loyal and they got their karma. <laughs> yeah with stingy lover and phys there's physical abuse in this situation with a karmic female friend so somebody was trying to get lucky and it ended up going wrong this is just some weird shit man let me tell me about this oh wait hold on what am I doing here Two. I just threw myself off completely. Oh, okay. Hyperactive mind with insecurities kicking in. And someone you know, a frenemy of Divine Masculine, wants to sleep with the Divine Feminine. Someone you know. So you know a friend of the Divine Masculine's or a Masculine, doesn't have to be the Divine Masculine, that wants to sleep with you. 
We do have a, a, a cop here. But this is a frenemy of the, the this no, this can't be the cop because they're coming in with the right intentions. And then we got a frenemy here of some masculine that wants to sleep with you. Ghosted with fat chance and highly unlikely. So somebody here could have ghosted you because of family here. Okay. Someone divine feminine knows you always put a smile on my face. So there's somebody you know that always puts a smile on your face here. And this could be the, the masculine that woke up to the bullshit about this privileged lady. They have no more fucks to give because this person has questionable sexual encounters. They weren't loyal. Yeah, we have moving with obsession. This, this masculine definitely needs some sort of restraining order. And projecting negative qualities onto someone lost without you. So you have somebody, another masculine here is what I'm feeling. They're lost without you. They were projecting negative qualities onto you. And I feel like maybe this person tried to take you out. They got the wrong one. That, so that person may be going to jail. And you have new love. And we have a frenemy of divine masculine wants to sleep with divine feminine. Someone you know. But this could be another masculine I feel like there's several people crushing on you collective is what I'm seeing. We have an abundant journey with it's always a good time to start something new. You're unforgettable and there's quite a few people here that they want a chance with you. So this is confusing me a little bit. But you, your eyes are on a masculine here that was with some fake bitch that they're going to court for. But family is standing in the way here. And it could be because you have psychic abilities. Okay. And it could be because somebody made some sort of statement to make you look bad or there's something shady going on there. That karmic was definitely sleeping around. Let's see what else here, spirit. Yeah, be grateful for the blessings to come with Proving their love with action. Yeah, resentment. And getting their karma. So. That could be the masculine. Not loyal. Yeah, with questioning everything. Lucky day, winner. Questioning everything and not loyal. Use your discernment. I feel like that karmic was sleeping with the same sex with a female karmic of the masculines, a female friend. Yeah, ready to commit to the things that are within their heart. That's the abundant journey with it's a good day to start something new. But you have like three, four masculines here into you. Four. Two of them are from your past. And one of them is a is actually a cop, but somebody tried to hire as a hitman. So there could be an investigation going on with some people in your past is what I'm seeing here. And that motherfucker is going to go to jail. That's what I'm seeing. Because there's fraud involved here. So you have a cop that fell for you. You have a masculine here that's ready to commit to the things that are within their heart because they awaken to the bullshit. They have no more fucks to give. They're res resentful. Okay. Because of what that karmic did to them. There was questionable sexual encounters with that karmic and a female friend of the masculines. Somebody here is lost without you, but they made you look some type of way and projecting negative energy onto you. <laughs> wow, collective. What you got going on? And then you have a frenemy 
could be a friend of me of the divine masculines or this past person that's lost without you because it says someone you know whoever this is for you they want to sleep with you but there, there's some competition here with new love is coming in with the right direction with ready to commit to the things that are within their heart i feel this is a masculine then there's a cop here an undercover cop that was i feel following this past person with fraud here you just have that energy of unforgettable okay so let's see what else here yeah smoke and mirror sleeping with your friend so i feel like somebody tried to make you look like you were sleeping with somebody here i don't know what they did with these false police statements but this is, they have this, the masculine's family looking at you in the wrong way. It's not even true. That's why they're standing in the way of this connection. This is sick. Yeah, divine masculine released this karmic because there was questionable sexual encounters here. They ain't got no more fucks to give. Hyperactive mind with insecurities kicking in. I'm sorry. For, sorry, this is here. Divine Masculine has no more fucks to give. With acting suspicious. This karmic has been acting suspicious. Stingy lover with physical abuse. Mm. Yeah, they made you look bad and now they feel stupid. This is the masculine. They feel stupid, what, because they got their ass beat by this karmic or something happened here? And this masculine is full of regret for believing in this karmic this karmic really made you look some type of way remember there was fake accounts here so they had a wrong idea about you and so did, so does their family unfortunately and now it's not true and trying to get their family to look at you in a different light is not easy for these people but they got to be seeing this karmic for who they are because they're going to court here this is like a somebody's worst nightmare when it came to this specific person there is no way you're going to repeat some karmic shit after this this bitch turned everything upside down what is this new love about? <laughs> oh, hell no. What? How are you coming in with the right intentions with, with this male hole energy? Oh. You could have met a male hole in the past. He tried to hire somebody to take you out. And it's an undercover cop because they're already being investigated for fraud. And it's a male ho. This is a person that's lost without you and projecting negative and negative qualities onto you. Lost without you. I keep hearing that song. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. So you got a you got a cop here that's been watching you because this person's under investigation and they fell for you. So be full of surprises, man. I, there's no joke when I say there's a lot of shifts and changes and things happening that are going to shock you. So family can be stand, will be, may be standing in the way of this connection with I know where you live. Oh, caught red-handed. That's the karmic sleeping with their friend. Okay. So it was what I initially was thinking where this could be about the karmic. So somebody got caught red-handed. And it was the family caught them red-handed with somebody here because we have sleeping with your friends, smoke and mirrors. And it's so family standing in the way of this karmic situation. Okay, good. So they've been caught. They know what's up now. And I feel like they were caught because there was already suspicion here. So the masculine could have set something up to find out the truth. I know this is crazy. Like, call me maybe. 
this bitch was sleeping with somebody to, to make false reports or I don't know man this is crazy so questionable sexual encounters yeah this bitch was sleeping with admirers that's why they were released this karmic is so sick I mean damn <laughs> evidence hyperactive mind with insecurities kicking in because there was evidence here about some sort of um, connection here. They got in a fight over you. Is what I'm seeing also. This bitch wasn't loyal. She was all about getting lucky. A friend of me. Yeah. So this friend of me that wants to sleep with you. Okay, a frenemy of the Divine Masculine wants to sleep with you, or this past person that you know, another masculine, a male hoe. There's a frenemy there, and it's because you're bossing up, and you're unforgettable. You're doing you. But you know who, who, you know who these people are, is what I'm seeing. So, ghosted and fat chance. Take your power back. Yep. So this masculine took his power back, is what I'm seeing, and ghosted this karmic. You always put a smile on my face with helpless, so the masculine could be saying that to you. Someone the divine feminine knows, okay? They were in a help, they feel like they were a helpless case or whatever. Moving with take the bull by the horns and go for it with obsession. So definitely they're moving, moving out, moving out of a situation here, closing out a chapter in their life. They got the evidence that they need. Okay. And lost without you. Trying to prove their worth to people that don't value it. Okay. So whoever was projecting onto you, they were trying to prove their worth, whatever, to other people. So I feel like they joined together with other people to make you look some type of way. This is somebody that's lost without you and made you look some type of way. Or this could be the masculine. Take it how it resonates. Because they are here too. But I'm seeing three or four males that are looking at you. Let's get another round. Yeah, we got envious. Somebody's envious of this person coming to you. Be grateful for the blessings to come. Proving their love with action. They're also envious that you have psychic abilities and you know what's happening here. Ooh, they had an abortion, this karmic, and that's why resentment is here. And it could have been because they got it they got pregnant by somebody else. Okay, because they're getting their karma. They cheated. We have admirers and questionable sexual encounters, so they released that karmic. So a DNA test might have taken place here as well. Yeah, making you look bad, not loyal, and they they were questioning everything. Okay? So, lucky day winner. They felt like meeting you was, was lucky, but somebody here was trying to make you look bad. And I feel they could have been a karmic female friend also. So, I'll, that's another scenario here. And it made them question everything because this person overthinks. They have a hyperactive mind. They didn't know who was telling the truth here. Okay? They, they really didn't listen to that song so there's a song here that you guys could you know connect with here when it comes to this masculine I mean I, I know I just sang that song I'm all out of love I'm so lost without you so you know take it how it resonates so smoke and mirrors here with yeah look at this this bitch trying to butter somebody up Sleeping with your friend, smoke and mirrors. Oh, I'm so head over heels over you. This bitch, <laughs> so shady to get what she wants. This is all a tactic. How does this karma keep up with all these lies? That's what I want to know. You know when you lie so much, you believe your own lies, but you just can't keep track of your fucking lies? Like, that's what I'm seeing. Like, why? I'm saying, you know, like you guys do that. You know, it, that's not what I mean. But you know when you see somebody like that, that it's just like, 
how you know I've, I've met people like that they come to your face they tell you a story and then like the following week it's a different story or or the following month they don't remember that they told you something a certain way and now it's something different and you're standing there like you just what can you do you just nod and be like okay yeah sure and <laughs> this bitch was trying to butter they were buttering up other people to get them in their corner to manipulate a situation here. <laughs> it's so sick. Unbelievable. Acting single. There it is. We, we can't make this shit up. No, I have no more fucks to give. They were acting suspicious. They were acting single because they were cheating. Man. Establishing boundaries. You could have established boundaries with this masculine because they made you feel bad or look bad. And, you, you know, now they feel stupid. Okay. I don't know about what that physical abuse and stingy lover is about. So take that part how it resonates. What's going on with this male hole? Yeah, I keep my distance because I don't want to cause you any pain. Okay. This is with Hitman is actually an undercover cop. New love is coming in with the right intention. Male ho, I keep my distance because I don't want to cause you any pain. So maybe somebody here has the right intentions towards you, but they have a, they sleep around. Okay. So they keep their distance. They don't want to hurt you because they know they, they're a player. Okay. All right. Caught red-handed. Yeah. Ooh, and arrested. So somebody got caught red-handed and arrested here. So somebody went home. The cops went to somebody's home to get arrested. And family may be standing in the way of this connection. So some drama went down here. Okay. With this karmic. Definitely. I mean, guys, we can't, we cannot make this up. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. Karmic is stringing someone along, admirers, questionable sexual encounters. This is why they were released. This masculine found out about this stuff. Trying to pull people down the rabbit hole with her. Stringing along a bunch of admirers, not just one. I also feel like they go both ways. Thief of ideas. Wow. With evidence, hyperactive mind insecurities kicking in. So, stealing their ideas and shit. What the fuck? Stealing perhaps things that they created to trip them up. Bossing up with breaking free. Yeah, you broke free from something here and you bossed up. Some sort of masculine here that's missing you. And, it, it, yeah, someone you know that you broke free from. They were, they were proving their worth to the wrong people. Whoever that masculine was. Spiritual and open-minded. Take your power back. Ghosted. Fat chance highly unlikely. Some of you took your power back and ghosted this situation and said the fat chance highly unlikely or this is the masculine, um, he could be spiritual and open-minded and uh, ghosted this bitch and they're only seeing them in court. It's like see you in court, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, break up, helpless, yeah, you always put a smile on my face, they're thinking about you, yeah, the masculine. Yep, wait for it. Complete life change coming. Because this person is clo closing out that chapter in their life, moving, and taking the bull by the horns and going for it. 
They need a restraining order, though. I'm making plans with you in mind. So you have somebody else here as well. Or this could be the masculine that was projecting negative qualities onto you. Now they understand everything and they're lost without you. And they were trying to prove their worth to people that didn't value it. Now they're making plans with you in mind. And they could be the ones breaking free. So someone the masculine knows that is a friend of me wants to sleep with you, Divine Feminine. So the masculine needs to be careful with who he surrounds himself with because there is people around them that are very shady. Yeah, playing hard to get at the bottom of the deck here. We have Celebrity Crush. Your haters are missing you. And we got buttering you up for, for, for clout with it's raining Benjamins behind that. With your haters are missing you here. And trust the process. So there could be some um, naysayers around this masculine saying that you're buttering them up for clout. Clearly it was the person they were with. Um, so they're trying to trust the process. Yeah, look at this. She got away with it last lifetime. She will not get away with it this lifetime. The karmic is mimicking <laughs> everything the divine feminine feminine does and says. So this bitch got away with acting like she was this person's twin last lifetime. So this masculine, wow. Wow, this masculine doubted who you were in your past lifetime. And this bitch won. So, they, you know, it's not about winning or losing, but you know what I'm saying. And she tried to do the same thing this lifetime. So she, they had to come back together to clear this karma. And for him to really learn this lesson this lifetime. She will not get away with it this lifetime. She's a copycat. She doesn't have her own identity. Isn't that what we first said? These fucking um, identity theft people? Yeah, that's exactly what she did. And she did it past lifetime. She was the one buttering him up for clout. Because there's money here. There's royalty lineage payout here. Wow. So she played a little hard to get. So you're... you're, you're Counterpart could be a celebrity. And then there was haters involved in the mix. Do not miss this opportunity, yeah. They had clouded judgment. Too much of a good thing blew up in your person's face. They misjudged the situation. Yeah. Long-term commitment with no inner work has been done here. And there, there's a crooked cop here. I told you, with financial ties. So there's a crooked cop involved, and that's the person this karmic is sleeping with. Making false police reports here. We can't make a shit up. And she's saying she's head over heels over this cop, and it's all bullshit. Smoke and mirrors. And there's financial ties here as well. They're going to court for a lot. Yeah, it says, I thought you wanted me for my money. Mad because you're not interested. So they could have thought that you wanted them for their money and then you got upset because they weren't interested or something. I don't know. Or maybe it's because you just ghosted. You took your power back and you said, well, fat chance, highly unlikely. And it says this new love will show you what everyone else was scared to show you. And I feel like that's your energy. You weren't there for the fucking money. It was your divine masculine. Not this fake bitch acting like the divine feminine, like they were twin flames. Yeah, karmic drama and greed over money. Because that bitch is a hot mess. Yeah, I watch you often going within and I'm coming for my Divine Feminine. And 
And the stalling is all this crap going on. Yeah, stalling is the lesson being learned right now and all this court stuff. Yeah, they were stubborn and they were in denial. Exactly. She played a good game. She should own a fucking Oscar. She almost had it though. She almost had it. It ended up blowing up in her face. She's getting karma here. She definitely had an abortion from someone else. Yeah, there's some sort of inheritance. You only live once. Can't keep my eyes off of you. And this situation has expired. You were sending this person good vibes the whole time. You were the other person that wanted a commitment with this person, but they went left and chose this copycat wannabe. Yeah, and it's time to get smart or lose or st or lose it all. There you go. This person could write music because they dedicated here something to you. Yeah, look at this. Polyamory. That's definitely the karmic because I see it here. And stop falling for the fake tears and, th and theatrics. And definitely they've been sleeping with a cop. Because they wanted them in their corner to make you look some type of way. The truth has been revealed. They were buttering up some sort of cop. Because they had... A hidden agenda wow that is nuts bottom of this deck they want to take what's rightfully yours there it is they had hidden addictions and there was an incident that happened there and this masculine I feel ordered a spy to, to for hire to watch this karmic that's how they found out the truth we have a setup and living a lie Yep, they had to trust their intuition and get out of their head. We have mother approved. So mother, his mother told him to trust his intuition. Yeah, dealing with a fuck boy, fuck girl. People want to know more about you. Uncurable STD. I feel like people were wondering, what is he doing with this person? Like, some people must have noticed the shade. Yeah, they didn't want to give up their toxic ways, drunk and stupor. With STD, dealing with a fuckboy fuck girl, uncurable STD. Like, people were, like, questioning this person's behavior. What the hell? Well, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Damn. Emotional manipulation. I'm making my move. A friend of me is close by. They've always been a friend of me of the masculines. Sleeping with the enemy. Yep. Doing spell work? Damn, this bitch did too much. Can't, there's a karmic family member from the other side. Or I don't know, there's spirit here. Talking about some sort of family member here. What's this? Not dating at this time. And jail time. We're hitting on your friends? Somebody could have went to jail for a little bit here. Because I do have arrested here. And they were, they were busy hitting on their friends while they were sitting in jail. I know where you live. Caught red-handed. Arrested. Would family maybe standing in the way of this connection? Uh, definitely some sort of fight broke out. So this is what happened with the physical abuse. Stingy lover, selfish. They could have got caught sleeping with someone. And the masculine automatically was thinking like, damn. I made you look bad and it was actually the fucking bitch I was sleeping with. The bitch I was married to. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. It might feel humiliating right now, but it's going to transform your life for the better. Whoever this person is that was with this karmic. That's a tough pill to swallow. You thought your freaking divine feminine was was the hoe and the you know the person that wanted you for money and there you had her right under your nose a fake bitch 
trying to be the divine feminine. She she played you last lifetime. She tried to do the same thing. At least you learned your damn lesson. At least you learn. Yeah. If you elope with this bitch because family was in the way of this connection, it was unrequited. It was always unrequited because this bitch was always keeping her options open. She wanted one thing and that was your fucking money and, and your life. Your lifestyle. That's the cold hard truth. Sorry. But you already see it. So whoever this masculine is. Damn guys. That's what spirit wanted me to relay here today. I guess. I was feeling these cards for some reason. And there it is. Uh, this karmic is ruthless. If there was a fucking bad apple in the basket, this is a this is the apple that spoiled the rest. Dang. What else is going on here? Yeah. Backstabber. Hard lesson at hand. Divine timing. What else is this person up to? Yep. Playing the victim. Of course they are. Of course they are. <laughs> Crocodile tears. We already saw man, man, uh, emotional manipulation. Yeah, Divine Masculine knows people are concerned about this connection. Yeah, you think? This is just sad. Yeah, toying with Divine Masculine's emotions. With playing the victim. Exactly. People are easily fooled by this karmic. And she's stalking, watching, and lurking. This is a charismatic one. With all the wrong intentions. Egomaniac and materialistic. She's a man-eater. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Concern, anxiety, and trouble ahead. Yeah, no shit. I ain't never seen somebody so strategic in my damn life. And I've seen some pretty bad people, but, you know. Selfish and obsessive. I mean, she really got in where she could fit in and did way too much. For This must have been happening for some time, guys. Like, he had to hire a spy. This bitch tried to get a hitman or somebody here tried to get a hitman. She must be going to jail. Maybe she's going to jail. I don't know. I mean, there was fraud here. I would check to see if you guys have, like, some weird accounts in your name or, like, your picture is where it shouldn't be. Like, I would definitely check. Because this is nuts. This bitch was out to get this person for everything they had. They were like living the lifestyle, spending their money, and sleeping with their friends, hitting on their friends, stringing people along, sleeping with cop, a cop, there's a crooked cop here, for their benefit to make you look bad. Projecting their bullshit onto you, making you look like you're the karmic. And they did this in the past life and got away with it. So you had to wake up this lifetime as well in order for your masculine to wake up to the bullshit here. So you guys came into this lifetime like, we ain't doing that again. But you had to sit here and watch all of this go down with this masculine 
Because they were about to fall for the same bullshit that they fell for last lifetime. But I feel like because you awaken with psychic abilities here. Your psychic abilities are real and worth exploring. Go deeper. You help this masculine somehow see the truth. Because you awakening helps this person awaken as well. It's the push and pull. You guys are connected by that red string of faith. So, damn. It has, it's like you ha you guys had to unknowingly, knowingly kind of work together in the spirit. And through some sort of telepathy, dream revelation, and spirit was definitely a vital force here for you guys to awaken this lifetime. This is some crazy shit. This, this is, this karmic is crazy. How do you just lie, 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 and like, how do you not trip up with your lies? Like, I'm still like, damn. I mean, clearly they are now, but I just feel like this took forever. Let's see. Any cards from here? One, 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 thirteen on the clock. This is definitely over. New beginning is here. Transformation is happening. Yeah, legal investigation. Local, federal authorities, detective, private eyes, attorney, background check. Boom. Okay. Yeah, spell work. Manipulative energy. Control dominion. This person wanting to take power over people. Over a situation they lost control of. Yep. X still watching you, interested in you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I think somebody's uh, burning something outside. I smell smoke. Somebody could be in their 20s here. Some young ass bitch. Royal lineage. Yeah, you guys are, are royalty here. You have a you have a high rank in the spirit realm. You are you come from royalty. From you know this is generational wealth. This is like your old souls um coming together here. Crabs in a barrel. Competition. Yep, new money. Entrepreneurship, entertainment, investment, invention, lotto, work. They were competing for that money. That wasn't even theirs to begin with. Because they aren't, you can't just make yourself a divine feminine. You can't just lie your way and cheat your way to royalty. <laughs> Something that, you know, a lineage, a... a generational wealth that's meant for you and this person not them yeah this person you could be a scorpio and they try to give you health attacks so this could be a scorpio take it how it resonates it says cold anxiety stress pain mysterious hospital test sickness what is this yeah you could be the psychic reader you could be a scorpio here this bitch try to send you health attacks. Yep, the the jig is up exactly. Yeah, watching your money and finances. That's what they do. And the jig is fucking up. Game over. Need we say more? Yep, you're surrounded by good all four sides. I guess I didn't know. I guess you didn't know. Okay. <laughs> Deal gone wrong. Eh. False report. Fake news. Yep. Mobtized. Organized crime. Mm-hmm. Falsifying documents. Fraud. Thief of ideas. Trying to shut you up because you're psychic. Shut up. Censorship block you, stop you from telling the truth. You were that weapon. Yep. 
Arrest warrants and busted. Somebody going downtown. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, bigots. She's a bigot. Looking down on others due to color, age, sex, gender, sexual preferences, religion, social class, and spirituality. This was also a fake spiritualist. That bitch tried to act like she was spiritual. She wasn't. It was all an act to get in this person's life. Divine Feminine Masculine. Destined for Greatness. Boom. Boom. There it is. Uh, see what happens when you go up against the anointed. You guys have royalty in your ancestry. You come from royalty. Ain't no stopping you now. That's right. Ain't no stopping you now. You turn it up. <laughs> wow. This masculine, I know he's he's kicking himself. I know he is for falling for this bullshit. Because he he got played big time. Like, the wool was thick here. This bitch really played a game here. But she going to jail. They probably already got her ass. For whatever she did here. I don't know. There's, there was physical abuse. Something happened there. I know this person's kicking themselves. Because they know they were projecting. Lost without you. Trying to prove it. Prove their worth to the wrong people, man. And now there, there's some sort of cop that likes you here. This I know this bitch tried to hire a cop. to A hitman to get you out or this person out. And they're actually an undercover cop. There's an investigation here fraud so and feminines you could have been going through something as well because I kind of saw some energy there of some some people in the past here there could be there could have been an investigation due to fraud there too you know the devil always sends their their um, their agents through people you know that work for the devil they're dark en entities, energies that are within these people trying to do the devil's work. You know, they're like on a fucking autopilot. It's crazy. But it's true. Alright, guys, that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that. This bitch going down. Okay? Yeah, because the jig is up. She's still watching people's money. She'll be buttering up, who knows, Tom, Dick, Harry, Tammy, Dixie, Harriet, somewhere along the line. I, I don't know what the arrest is for and how deep that goes, but there's definitely thief of ideas, fraud, you know, shit. You could probably sue this bitch for defamation of character, but I don't know. I don't know how deep you guys go with that as far as you know knowing that karmic so I don't know but there's got to be something that she can go to jail for alright guys damn I wish you guys the best peace